Well, let's go straight to the bottom of the article. <laughs> Status quo ante, which means the way things were before. That won't be happening. Let's go up a little bit and restate that. One wonders if this isn't all a little 1968-ish. Nope, it's not. You're wrong again. And you can make such stupid statements because you don't realise it's not 1968-ish all over again. It's finally we made it to the eschaton. Even Terence McKenna said himself, you know, when he's looking at the chart on the time wave zero, he goes, 1969, we had it all. Because it was a reverberation of the end, yeah? It was that, uh, what, 64-year cycle he was mentioning there, I think. You'll have to go look at the videos that Terence McKenna made to understand that we're at the end of individual human cultural history. That's why there's all this uprest. We won't be going to any, you know, past systematics. We're going to have to create entirely new world, entirely new systematics. But I'm glad people are almost ready to listen. You see this? We're almost there. A little bit more death and destruction, and finally they will begin to start to listen to the way showers, the indigos, the only ones to create the new world via consciousness. That's how it's going to be done. See how I know? Well, when you don't know and you, you can't see the way, you're going to have to relinquish your control, all that psychophanting, to people like me, who do know the way and do see, called way showers, yeah? So it's not uh, that... Oh, let's go back. It's not that uh, this is... 1968 all over again it's that 1968 was part of a heightened resonance of the eschaton or a uh, prelude to the eschatonal end which was 2012 yes that's what 2012 was it wasn't just the ending of a mind buktun or something like this i've talked about 2012 before i'm going to talk about it fully in depth in my book called the eschaton that's what it's going to be called. Seems nobody is talking about that when it's the actual um, answer. <laughs> it's because everybody is always looking for the thrills, the seeking. And when they find the answer, it's the thrill that kills. And you know, people ignore when you're all right. You know, when you've got the answer, they ignore you. Until like the last second or the last vote or, you know. The last view. So I know I'll be waiting, I've already predicted, I'll be waiting for a long time, but they will come for people like me eventually, because nobody else, nobody else can do it. Nobody has the answers, you see. So they'll have to come for the way showers, the shamans, and so on. So, uh, interesting. We have now mass protests all over the world, and... A world of unrest. This is just the beginning of the uh, apocalypse. I keep saying it. People keep ignoring it. I find you funny because the more you ignore it, the worse off you will become. When it hits you, when the apocalypse knocks on your door. And hey, I'm not saying that you deserve to die, but you deserve what you will get. All of the pain that you will get, I'm very, very happy to see. Because I know that coming to consciousness is painful. And so when you go th undergo great pain, you'll actually start to pay attention. So I'm not saying that psychopathically. I'm saying that logically. So I can't wait to see you all in pain. Because I've been waiting a very, very long time. And it's finally starting to happen. Finally starting to pick up. Because that's how far out and upstream I see. You know. So yeah, anyway, look, it's starting. We've got a little map now. Um, God, I never called her a pig. I call her a cockroach. Hang on. She's being ridiculous in the background there. Ignore that. That's just a woman being illogical. 
Right, so what we have here is well, how many countries? You know, all of South America is being destabilized. You can see that now. Uh, I'm in Uruguay there under Brazil, which is not in red yet, but it will be soon. And Argentina should be in red because that's just gone. That's that's finished now. Argentina's gone. It's it's like uh, 60 peso for one US dollar. You think uh, that's going to go back the other way? Eh, no. <laughs> Once a currency goes like that, it's not going back to even or... You know, it, when I got here, Argentina peso was three for one US dollar. Now it's 60. It's not going back the other way. You get it? And so all of South America is now destabilized because we have it down the bottom and then we have it up the top, Venezuela, right? Well, that's now starting to happen in Chile and Argentina. And Argentina is right next door here to um, Uruguay. So I guess we're going to see some good videos soon here in Uruguay. I'll finally get to go to a protest. I never attend protests in the past because it just wasn't time yet. <laughs> but it's starting to become time, so I'll probably be seen at protests, finally. Been waiting a long, long time to throw a Molotov. <laughs> Just kidding, or am I? <laughs> okay, so here we go. Even the first world, you know, UK, France, Colombia, oh, sorry, Spain, you know, Europe, they're in uh, the crisis. And you've got, you know, Serbia, Ukraine, Montenegro. Is that even a country? Man, I swear, I'm not one of these people for the... Um, Mandela effect, but I don't know, in the last year I've been seeing some weird things. I have heard Montenegro before though. It just gives me a weird feeling. Anyway, Russia, uh, Egypt, Sudan, Zimbabwe, Indonesia. Look at this. It's basically worldwide, yeah. So you see the US and Australia is fine. <laughs> it's interesting that uh, in the Northern Hemisphere the USA holds the key to turning into the new world and in the southern hemisphere it's Australia that's uh, not due to like financial stuff that's due to the less frequency control and that the two cultures are very eschatonalized due to being able to make it through the frequency controls for instance in communist Russia or communist Uruguay where I am they're very very far behind you know how people say they're 20 years behind it's mentally is what I've realized living here in Uruguay. It's not even just economically. Because at first you would come and you think maybe it's economically, but when you stay a little while longer, you realize it's mentally. And I talk about this in my book, uh, The Eschaton, what eschatonalization even means. Since nobody, not one person in the world, and does that tell you something about me being a concrescence? Not one person is talking about the eschaton. All right? So, you don't have a man, Veronica, I'm leaving you, you fucking idiot. See, they're just trying to gaslight me in the message. If I had a man this, if I had a man that, don't want to be your man, love. See you later. So, what we've got now, here's a nice little list. France, Spain, uh, Germany, Brexit, UK, Algeria, Iraq, Lebanon, Egypt, Russia, Hong Kong, Venezuela, Chile, Ecuador, and Bolivia. Deepening polarization in the US. I don't know what this next line means. One could add the middle class disruption of extinction rebellion in Australia. Or extinction of rebellion? Did they write that wrong? I'm not sure what they mean there. Anyway, the whole point of this was to show you that it's finally like really uh, propping up, you know, the energy of the apocalypse and this chaotic energy of the destruction and apocalyptic uncovering the real goings-ons, you know, that society's sick, corrupt, not going to last, unsustainable, ridiculous. So that part of society, how society is ridiculous, um, basically, and a mass hallucination, culture is, uh, is now being uncovered. And the word in Greek, apocalypse, means to uncover. So yeah, that's what I mean by it's now finally propping up. You should not be seeing this on the level of economics or like, you know, this is about money, that's it. That's a very shallow viewpoint, and that's what an article like this is talking about. You know, rate meeting decisions and all this crap. That's very low level and very myopic. Who cares about the next rates? The point is you can see that the whole system is going to fail. So look upstream and you go, well, if it's going to fail, then what? 
You don't ask yourself, oh, can they fix it by changing the uh, exchange rate? Can they fix it by, uh, like, Argentina's now put, like, a floor on the dollar? Can they fix it by, you know, uh, increasing the, um, what's it called, uh, interest rates or something, you know? No, none of that. So you ignore all that now because it's useless information or very, very glib. It doesn't matter much because the whole system is fucked. You get it? It's a mess, um, endogenous mess. The system itself is systemically flawed in so many ways beyond the scope of this little video. Anyway, so we have ma mass public uh, unrest in France, Spain, Algeria, Iraq, Lebanon, Egypt, Hong Kong, Venezuela, Chile, Ecuador, Bolivia. There's been protests here in Uruguay even. Obviously, there's going to be so many protests that we don't even know about. That's why I think the best way to look at this is this little pictorial map here. Because, you know, it's like a, a picture speaks a thousand words. You can see that it's becoming more and more, not less and less. Right? There's more countries going into this, you know, unrest, not less. So, um, just wanted to put that all out there. Um, I've made other videos I'm going to upload soon, like Elite World. Um... It's not just the price of gold that's going to go sky high. It's, uh, you know, mega inflation here, hyperinflation, hyper, hyper inflation. And you can see that because whole currencies and countries are blowing up, yeah? So if there's ever a, a reason to say the word hyperinflation, now is it. Because <laughs> you've got it, not just like a little segment or a product or a market or an industry, but entire countries, yeah? blowing up you're going to see this more not less and i'm telling you now from my perspective here in uruguay the entire south america is now uh it, that's done south america is now going to be like a fifth world country like africa very very soon very soon much like while you're still alive soon uh, this is not oh in 30 years no it's happening now like i'm here in the street seeing it now do you understand so I'm telling you, all of South America is now destabilized. Uh, you want to be careful soon even traveling here. I'm all right. I'll be all right. I'm a tough guy. But uh, yeah, it's uh, fully destabilizing now. You know, you've got it in the north. As soon as Argentina went, I just knew. I went, oh, that's it. This whole of South America is gone. It's, you may as well just call it extinct now. So anyway, I just want to show this, um, and you can look at the currencies. I made a video, each country's apocalypse chart recently, and all that apocalypse chart really was, was the exchange rates on Google. Because I can see the patterns, all of the charts are going up. Most of them were going up. So you can see that video I made, or you can just check the exchange rates online for yourself. And then, you know, check them every two months. And notice that they're all going up. Just look at the patterns. We've made long-term bottoms, and now is like rocketing up. It's going up really quickly, and we're going to go to new highs and things like the Argentina example are really good because when I first came here, it was three Argentina peso to one US dollar. Now it's sixty peso for one dollar. So I mean, that's why I called that video "Each Country's Apocalypse Chart." because I was being serious? Are you being serious? Are you ignoring that this is the long foretold for thousands of years, none other than the apocalypse? Well, what happened to all this 2012 energy? The world was going to be saved. We come to consciousness. That was the eschaton. That was your opportunity to be uh, divinated, basically, to be apotheoted. I'm an apotheot of the eschaton at the end of human history. My name is Benjamin Kallenberg, the site creator of ConsciousZen.net.